I'm entering this log for the record. This is Mark Watney, and I'm still alive, obviously. The scientific accuracy of the film, I think, is remarkable. A lot of the topography, what they show in the Martian, we could find places on Mars that looked that way. And in particular, when they did things like show overhead views of Mars, it was the overhead views of Mars that you would expect to see. Mark Watney's still alive. The astronaut uses the lander as a way to communicate back with Earth. Well, to do that, he had to plug in a computer that he had on his vehicle to our lander. Well, it turns out our lander had a port that you could plug in that allowed him to do those exact things. So an astronaut really could have done that and reprogrammed this vehicle. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. The fact that he used potatoes, that was one of the crops that was selected as the best that you could do in terms of generating calories. I am the greatest botanist on this planet. For oxygen production though, it actually turns out that wheat would be something better than potatoes. But if you were just looking for calories, potatoes were the, the right thing to use. 1,200 kilometers in diameter bearing 24.41 degrees. That's tracking right towards us. The windstorm event. My team thought I was dead. The problem is on Mars, there's only 1% of the atmosphere that we have here on Earth. So even if you have a 100 mile an hour wind, that has the same force as a one mile an hour wind here on Earth. Having things blown around and people blown across the landscape, this isn't gonna happen. After that, everything was really, really accurate. The first person to touch the surface of Mars, I think, is going to be in my lifetime. I think we can easily do it in 20 years. If we want to, we could do it in less. For us, the next step is to go to Mars and bring back samples. We're going to do that next with a mission called Mars 2020. And that mission is going to drill into rock and collect core samples. The first time that we study these close up may very well be with humans that will go to Mars in the coming decades. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the most exciting human adventure of all time. <laughs>